think some people are listening to the room. So. <coughs> well, I'll just record that. Okay. So, who had to travel the furthest? So we got Virginia. Where are you guys from? New York. New York. Yeah. New York. Okay. Okay. Virginia. 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 Okay. So yeah, <coughs> similar-ish. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> so, who am I? What do I do? And why are you even here? Oh, great question. We'll answer some of this today. So, my name is Brian Jack. I am a chief financial officer for Regional Bank. So, very dynamic in the banking world right now. Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank, First Republic. We'll see what happens with Pack West this week. Um, it's a lot of fun. A lot of dynamic stuff going on. I've been there in the banking world for about 10, 10 years. Before that, I spent five years in public accounting. So Ernst Young, KPMG, Deloitte Touche, those type of companies is what I worked in before. Um, I'm one of the few people that, that will present something to you that is not a professional investor. So I don't spend 10 to 12 hours a day doing everything that you were just taught how to do with Grand Rear Peak perspective and a different take on a different topic I wanted to talk about today. <clears throat> but we're going to start with a little analysis, okay? Or a tool, if you will. So, that's a pretty good target. Every time it gets better and better. Um, there's an acronym that I live by. It's KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. If it's not simple enough for me to be able to explain to a five-year-old, nothing I'm gonna invest in, okay? <clears throat> Personal brands. Um, but I wanna walk through this model real quick with you, using Apple as an example, because it's a well-known company, we all know who Apple is, okay? First question we're gonna, <coughs> first question we're gonna look at is what? What does Apple make? What is their product? They do, they do have products, yes. What else? Toilet paper and toothpaste. Yeah, hang on, what else? Watches. And what else? They make a million different chargers and they just sell them in tiny little packs. Mm -hmm. And they change them every freaking model of apps. Uh -huh. What else? So the apps solve. So they have streaming, right? And they have the TV bowl. And traditional bowls, that you would. Okay? A lot. They do a lot of different things, right? And they have a lot of great, cool products. When you look at Apple, just looking at this question, what do they do? Is that a good enough reason to invest in Apple? No. Or invest in any company? <coughs> Another way you can know the answer is until we get a great answer to that question is no. We're almost there though. Okay, the next question we can look at is how. How does Apple make these amazing products? software, they do their hardware, they make their apps, they make their app store, everything, their operating system. Okay. And they have a closed environment. Very good. What else? Do they just have one person coming up with ideas? They have a whole innovation team. Okay. What else? Supply chain. Supply chain, right? <laughs> they have loyal customers. Yes. <coughs> I'm gonna add to that marketing. <clears throat> you guys know what the marketing budget is for Apple? Huge. Yeah, it's a couple billion. You know how, how many different things are? How effective do you think? Uh, marketing could give you a couple billion dollars to spend it. That's a car you want you to do anything you want. Yeah, go buy so buy stadium or do something crazy cool with that kind of money. <clears throat> awesome. 
but is how the most important <coughs> thing to look at? Why? Yes, why is the most important? Hence the name of our wine. What is why? Okay. Does anybody know the why of Apple? Also can be disguised as a mission statement. Yeah. So I read the biography of Steve Jobs. So like the whole thing is like, well their slogans think different. Uh-huh. Uh, but their main thing is like they want to have like they basically blend the arts with technology, right? So they want good tech, plus like very user-friendly and interfacing with okay. it's kind of their whole thing. Yep. Like best in class tech, best in class usability, like all of the one up that way. Okay. That's the start of it, yes. Anybody else have an idea? And I'm gonna boil it down. section of their 10k from a couple years ago the entire reason why they exist is to innovate to improve lives that's pretty simple isn't it I would argue that's really simple <clears throat> how limiting is that statement another way to phrase that is does Apple have to only stay in tech to accomplish that no. goal no that's one that's definitely one uh, one industry they've gone after is the tech industry. But what other industry has Apple not yet penetrated that would help them still accomplish innovation to improve lives? Cars, right? What else? Banking. <coughs> Sorry, what? Banking. <laughs> yes, we can put banking. What else? Yeah. Put energy. Energy, right? Cool, what else? There are so many different industries that Apple still has the potential to grow into that they haven't even tapped yet. So with the reputation they have in tech and how well known they are for great products, in innovative products, if they were to break into the uh, healthcare industry, do you think they'd be pretty successful? Absolutely, they'd kill it. Whatever they would do in the healthcare industry, they would kill. The why is extremely important. Okay, broad enough to allow flexibility, but has to have some direction in where you want to go. Okay, all right, great. That's all good and stuff, <clears throat> and it's useful. But here is the more important. Whether you guys know it or not, you guys have your own personal brand. You have your own personal mission statement. Now, we may not have phrased it that way, but that's exactly what it is, okay? And we're gonna dive down using these three same, three same questions of defining your why or your personal mission statement, okay? For me, when I first walked through this, this was pretty powerful. So, we're gonna write you. So we're gonna ask the same questions. What are your products? It's kind of an awkward way to think about it, but what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Yeah. Basketball, skills, volleyball. Yes. So I'm just gonna lump that into sports if that's okay. So sports, what else? What are your favorite food to eat? To eat? Yes, right? Great, love it, what else? Do you, play, do you play an instrument or sing? I play all the instruments. Good one. Piano, ukulele, and sing. Awesome. <clears throat> what else? What else do you guys like to do? Yeah. Teach. Teach. Lots of different things that you like to do, right? And that's awesome. 
does that define who you are? Is that the best definition of who you are? No, good, that's a good answer because they're not here yet. It's a start. A better answer is to ask yourself, how do you do it? <coughs> Again, that's kind of an awkward question. I would rephrase this as, what are your values? So what are your values, guys? I'll get the ball rolling, just so you guys can have a better understanding of kind of, kind of what we're looking at. Um, Hardworking. Not what you value, but what are your values? Hopefully that makes a bit more sense. What are your values? Yeah. Loyalty. Loyalty, oh, so important. That's great. What else? Yeah. Determination. Yes. What else? Feel free to shout it. Growth. 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 Recovery mindset. Ooh, that's really good. What else? Integrity. Integrity, right? Believe it or not, that's the first time anybody said integrity. This is the fourth session. I have a little concern as well. <laughs> what else? Authenticity. Authenticity. So we could go with list and values. This is a good, or I should say this is a better definition of who you are, right? If we lived true according to our values, wouldn't the world be such a better place? I, I would argue very strongly yes, but it's not the best. <coughs> the best Now, I think this is a philosophical question, right? What is your why? Why are you here? It's a little deeper type of a question, right? So the way I like to think about this is, <clears throat> let's imagine, yeah, your funeral. Not a eulogy, but you know. Imagine what people would say in your eulogy. What would you want them to say about you? Yeah, passionate. Passionate, very good. What else? Yeah. If I spell, misspell things, <coughs> forgive me, I'm an accountant. Not really much really. Caring. Caring. Very good. What else? Family. Family. Awesome. What else? my favorite button, by the way, other than Control-Z. If life had a Control-Z, that's the undo, E in Microsoft product, that'd be the best name on earth. Um, we're going to use the impact in exam as an example. So let's assume all of our whys is to have a positive impact. In the same way that you apply it, would it be the exact same way as she applies? No, what about you? No, we would have 12 different ways to implement and have a positive impact on society. <coughs> I think that's pretty awesome. So we have something that's narrow enough as to make a positive impact, broad enough that it can be uh, <coughs> implemented personally, and then you work up. I'm gonna give you two, uh, two cautions. The first one is this. If this is your why, the sole purpose that you're, uh, you're here is to make money, you're gonna be miserable, okay? I would strongly encourage you, if you are here, and the primary purpose of you being here, like when I say that, not here with this competition, but here in the philosophical sense is to make money. 
I would challenge you very, very strongly to change it. Okay? This will never, ever, ever provide the long-term self-actualization. Now, does that mean it's bad? No. Can money help us have a potentially bigger so positive social impact? Absolutely. If we keep that as a central focus. So many people get in the mindset, oh, if I just had a little bit more, I could do so much more. They get caught up and spend so much time in the getting more, they lose track of their why. Okay? Um, the other counsel I'll give you is um, you guys put a lot of pressure on yourselves already. You're outstanding individuals and members of society, right? There were over 350 stock pitches, something like that. Um, and we have 41 here. Top 10% right there, okay? You guys are already amazing people, okay? One thing that high achievers tends to do, like, like you guys, is you put too much on yourself. Some of us think that we have to be everything to everyone all the time. Does anybody put that type of pressure on themselves? I know I do. Um, taking a step back, is that realistic? No, absolutely not, right? We can't be everything to everyone all the time. It's impossible. But we can be something to someone at various times in our lives, okay? So just two words of caution. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't say, I'm going to get a quick answer. Okay? If you can and you have the ability, do it, please. I'm not saying don't do that. But um, your why does not have to be some global, earth-changing purpose. Okay? So the last thing is we'll kind of do like some chicken feet here. <coughs> so let's say your why is you want to have a positive impact. Well, how are you going to do it? There are lots of different options, right? Maybe you want to do two of them. You know, for example, um, I coach my 10-year-old boys soccer team, right? Can I have a positive impact on those 12 boys? Absolutely, I can. And I'd love to. I'd love to do it. What about my involvement with YIS? Absolutely, I have the opportunity to make a positive impact. So then what, because I want to have those products, sorry, let me draw those further. I can better define what are my actionable items to be able to execute my why. It's a very systematic way to think about it, but does it make sense? Does this concept kind of make sense? It'll help you, it will help keep you grounded throughout your life, because I guarantee you each one of you will have enormous opportunities for you guys have immense potential. I can see it, I feel it. Don't lose sight of your why. Okay? It, it, can, it can make you a lot happier and have a lot bigger impact in your life. Any questions, comments? Anybody have? Go fight win. Go fight win. Okay, who hasn't uh, done their stock pitch yet? Okay, so everyone else has. It's done, guys. How do you think you enjoy the rest of your day? Except for those of you who are going to finals. Then you have a whole night of stress ahead of you. Okay? Don't stress about it. Have fun. Yeah? Do you know when finals are announced? Yes, it will be at the... Yeah. Yes, at the end of everything. Okay. 3.15. Thank you. Okay. All right, did I end on time?